meet Ichiban. Want to grab a drink with me? Sure. But do you really know how to knock him back, Sachan? Promise me you'll keep it to one or two. Oh, come on. It's no big deal if we drink more than that. It's not like I'm gonna make a move on ya. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. So, hey, you're technically still a mama at a hostess club, right? Yeah, but I didn't found the place. I was promoted to mama after Nonomiya saw that I was the best hostess there. <laughs> if you're that good a hostess, you'll be bored drinking with me. I ain't much for clever conversation. Don't be so hard on yourself. It takes practice. I definitely wasn't a natural at it. But neither of us is looking for tips right now, so who cares? <laughs> okay. So what's happening with the club now? Still going strong, even without Nonomiya? I've got the girls holding down the fort. They should be fine, barring any earthquakes. Or ex-boyfriends. Oh, pretty impressive that you trust your staff to run the whole joint. They know the basics of the business. I'm the kind of mama who teaches her youngsters well. If you do say so yourself. <laughs> Well, I do. But of course, it was that desire to educate that caused all the drama in my family. Was that all the stuff with Nanoha and your dad that you mentioned before? Yeah. Well, at least things have simmered down among us recently. Thanks to you guys. My dad's in a real nursing home now, and Nanoha's looking for a more legit job, like she had before. So you call them pretty often? Oh, no. Never. I just have my hostesses secretly check in on them every now and then. Nanoha doesn't want to see me. She'd be furious. Why? You two really can't get along? That's an understatement. I haven't seen her in seven years. I do call her up sometimes, but... She never wants to meet in person. I'd like to, though, and I tell her that. She turns me down every time. <laughs> Guess I have no one to blame but myself, really. I'm listening. It's a boring story. Are you sure you want to hear it? <laughs> yeah, that's me. And why not? I love shonen manga. I'm sure I'll like your story, too. <laughs> no way do you really mean that. It's true. Now, oh, come on. Let me hear it. <laughs> okay, if you're going to beg, I guess I have to tell you. Thanks. Uh, so, go ahead. How come you don't get along with Nano, huh? Well, I think it's because I was just too controlling. I always had something to say about everything she did. My mom was sick throughout our whole childhood, so I felt like I had to take care of my shy little sister. Little sister? But you're the same age, unless there's a new kind of twin I don't know about. Of course we're the same age. Her personality just always made her seem younger. She was so timid. I was the one with the guts, just like mom. It's probably why mom trusted me more than dad. He was closer to Nanoha since she took after him. I gotcha. Dad wasn't earning much from the little company he ran back then. I tried to help him out by getting a part-time job in high school. Didn't take me long to figure out nightlife entertainment was where the real money was. Pretty soon I was essentially the breadwinner of the family. And after mom died, even more so. All I wanted was for Nanoha to get into a good college and live an honest life. But you think that came off as controlling to her? Yeah. I told her which college to go to. Insisted she become some sort of white-collar professional. But the straw that really broke the camel's back was me chiming in about her new boyfriend. I listed every red flag I could possibly think of, then I asked her if the dude raised any of them. What, like, you made a physical list? <laughs> yeah. Stuff like being dirty, acting douchey at restaurants, condescending towards women, always name-dropping. There were a lot. I went too far, honestly. But you know what? The bastard did fit a lot of them. She was like, oh, but he's getting it together. He's starting a consulting firm. But I told her to dump his ass. I'm betting she didn't like that. No, she did not. 
She threw stuff, screamed herself hoarse, cried. Even my freaking dad cried seeing all the drama. Oh, jeez. It was that intense? I think it always bothered him that he couldn't make enough money to help my mom. He was embarrassed I made more than he did. I remember, after he found out what my pay was, he just started doing whatever I said. And then all of a sudden, during this fight, he started sobbing about how he should have helped Nanoha break free from me. Sounds like he was finally letting out everything he'd bottled up. Yeah. And it turned out Nanoha's boyfriend problem was just the beginning. Because in that moment, I realized my family was distancing themselves from me. Sachan. It was, um, seven or eight years ago when I decided to leave home and just focus on work. Imagine how it felt when Nonomiya called and told me about this new family trouble. How Nanoha chose to work at a soap land instead of asking me for help. I was shocked. <sighs> I really was. Just in case it ever comes up, we're all supposed to pretend you don't know she was working at Otohime land, right? Knowing my sister, she'd die of embarrassment if she found out I know. Well, then the charade must go on. <laughs> I think I had one too many after all. I didn't plan on talking for so long. But thanks for getting a drink with me, Ichiban. Everyone's going through something. Having a friend to talk to just makes it a little easier. Hey, Namba. Anything gone down yet with that legend malt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk. But the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends like Adachi and Sachan. Which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never gonna sell. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, yeah? Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Malt. Ooh, uh... Well, then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. Huh? Ichiban, what now? What can we do? We gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks that. I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse me? You say this knowing I'm the editor-in-chief of Good Dandy? He's from Good Dandy? No way. What the hell is that? It's a rich man's magazine, full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you, if you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but 
Was it not you who flung the first stone? Fine. You back me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by, then a year, until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. Oh. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time. But I've never met a bartender with a tail like that. That quiet strength. The very essence of good dandy magazine. <laughs> he didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. Ugh, I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. Well, if you can't do it alone, then I'll help out. Y you serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. Ha! <laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Come again? That long-lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour him the legend malt? And back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high-end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel whiskey. Purely for show. Nobody actually orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him waltzes in. So I give them the same old sob story and they <laughs> scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was... Bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. <sighs> I don't understand you people. I guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Where the taste is all in your head? Hey, just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this, would you? Y you can't. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out like that. So, you'll keep it a secret? Yeah. But you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? <laughs> sure. It's a deal.
Can I help you? I'll be rooting for you.
struggling here. Come on. This'll do. Cool. Get alive. Who knows? Going up. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Look at me go. <laughs> Fuck! Who are you guys anyway? Hand over that damn money already. Fuck you! Just one. Hey. Hey. 
Okay. Yeah. Seriously? Go. Hey. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think anyone's coming back? I mean, they wouldn't just leave us here to die, would they? That would be a pretty economic way to torture people. Sons of bitches. Shh. I hear footsteps. What do you want? Hey. I remember these guys. Yeah, they were at the warehouse. The warehouse is total thanks to you fucks. Everything is gone, and it's time for you to pay. Well, it was you guys who blew up the truck, not us. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Lauma gave us permission to make examples out of you. Examples? Yeah, we're gonna slice you up and send the body parts to the Seiryu clan. Lauma also said we could take our sweet time killing you. He knows how to keep his men motivated. Glad to hear you like your boss. That's rare. Ha! <laughs> Not scared, huh? You must have had some lucky breaks in the past. But there's none coming now. I'm about to show you what hell itself is like. <laughs> Did that hurt? Scared now. <laughs> I love it when they make that face. Come on, make it again. Stop it, you freak! Oh, patience, lady. I'm saving you for later. That part's gonna be real fun. <laughs> You're disgusting. Keep it in your pants unless you want to lose it. <laughs> I like how feisty she is. But let's start with a nice appetizer. The old man. Yeah! Don't do that! What? Who are you? Pardon the interruption, but I have orders from Lama himself. Huh? Why didn't I hear about this? Hey, what did Lao Ma say? Why are you taking off their chains? That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourselves. Funny how the tables have turned, wouldn't you say? Uh, uh, you know, my luck's been really turning around. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Uh, who the hell was that guy? No idea. But I think I'll buy him dinner if I ever see him again. Hey, you mind wrapping this up? Oh, right. My bad. All right. I got this. <sighs> yeah. Get him, Ishiban. Please don't lose. Let's go. 
Jesse. You shit-rimmed asshole. You're fucking dead! The battle is on! Cool. Come on now! Check this out! Yeah. Hey. Well. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Hey. Nice! 